far this season, UM bats have been hot. Mike Cunha tells us it might be because their batting eyes are now sharp. Four tenths of a second. That's the time it takes a baseball to get from a pitcher's hand to the catcher. Casey strikes out swinging. Locking onto the ball was something the Hurricanes baseball team struggled with in 2018. They were 219th in the country at scoring runs. So let's just say they had a fundamental problem. Everybody says, see the baseball, hit the baseball. But how do you do that? There's a diff there's an art to that. Enter the inquiring mind of assistant coach Norberto Lopez. He called the doctors at the Baskin Palmer Eye Institute to help merge art and science. We sat down for weeks and we started planning out and organizing a plan all across with the vision. Dr. Natalie Townsend and her team came down to Mark Light before the season started and got right to work, creating a baseline of data through different eye exercises. There is a lot of visual processing, pitch recognition, reaction time, um, peripheral vision, all the stuff that we need to take into account. So think weight training for your eyes, changing the routines every two weeks so as not to bore the athlete or the eye muscles. So these are strobe glasses, and the athletes wear these while they're in the hitting cage. And we try to make it harder for them to recognize how quickly the pitch is coming at them. Imagine trying to hit a ball at 75 miles per hour wearing that, or hitting an object coming from the opposite direction. So I need you to focus right here, and as soon as it gets here, that's when you can pick it up, okay? B. S. Players were also asked to spot a certain letter on a baseball or reshape their focus on different targets, like in this exercise, which gets a person's eyes to converge and diverge. And now you look at the U. This is when your eyes are kind of relaxing. And now look back at the clear. That helps hitters locate and recognize pitches. And if you haven't been paying attention, it's working. That guilt and drills that one. Miami is top 10 in batting average and home runs already thanks to the help from the good doctor. So I've never really thought, oh, I gotta train my eyes. I thought my eyes were just my eyes and I, I have vision or I don't, right? And uh, now I think it's like, yeah, I gotta go to the gym for my eyes, kind of, if you wanna think of it like that. Yeah, I feel like I'm more calm now. You know, I feel like I could just, I see the ball a lot better. My head's moving a lot less and my eyes just focus way more. And not only are the Canes seeing more clearly, the scoreboard is a little brighter too, making a believer out of everybody, including head coach Gino Damari. I have not tried it, no. I don't want to embarrass myself because I've tried doing some of those over the years when I first started coaching. There's nothing embarrassing about it, especially when you guys are putting them 20 points. I'm not embarrassed about that. <laughs> My, I'm, I'm happy to stand over in that third base box and, and want to you know, kind of this. send them in. Yeah, that's, that to me is great. Mike Cunio, CBS4 Sports. All right, Preston, what do you think? <laughs> do the eyes have it? You know what? This is important. I tell you, one of the things that I learned when I was a young player yeah. was just simply to look with both eyes at the pitcher. I would stand there kind of like this uh -huh. and realize I didn't have full focus on the pitcher, so I had to turn my head. So eyes definitely play a big part. That was my problem in Little League. I just closed my eyes and swung. <laughs> Sometimes I hit it. A lot of times I didn't.